Okay, so I'm just going to be straight up like always. Um, anything and everything I put on my YouTube channel um, is just me being me. 100% <laughs> authentic me. Love me or hate me. No facades. It's being 100% real. But you know what? At the end of the day, I have to live with me. In 42 years, that's what I've ultimately learned. Um, so I suffered no grief in putting my shit out there. As long as I can rest with my conscience at the end of the day. You know, that said, something really amazing happened today. Um, pardon this darn fly. Once get get up in my head like that. I don't even know how you got in my room. Um, but you know, I, I put all my business out there earlier. And I've, I've ultimately got no problem doing that. Because we all fall short in the image of God. Although we're all made in the image of God. Imagine that. Um, he all knew, or he knew, we would all fall short, pardon me. He knew we were all sinners. And we were made in his image. The difference between you and me is I no longer fear my God. If anything, I love the hell out of him. And you know why? Because I know a little piece of him is within me. I know that I'm a sovereign, divine, spiritual being that is having a human experience. My living God lives within and through me in order to experience life. Just like he does you. There is no right or wrong. There is no good or bad. Not one religion is better than another. God doesn't see color. He loves all his little children, red, yellow, black, and white. And I say these things with conviction. Not just because, darn it, fly. Not just because they're childhood convictions. Not because society molded me that way. It's because I have an innate knowing now that I can be passionate about in my truth and I'm not trying to sell you my truth because my truth is priceless you could never afford it all the love that I ever sought is within me and I mean that when I say it it's not outside of me I looked for love in all the wrong places. A fractal of God, source, lying creator is within each and every one of you. That is my truth and I will stick to it. Doesn't mean I'm selling anything and doesn't mean I expect you to buy it. But I must speak my truth. Because I've had a love-hate relationship with God for a long time. I always knew I was a sinner. I always knew I fell short. But you know what? He knew we'd fall short too. We were made in his image. And he knew we'd all sin. But he also knew love conquered all. So you can take that to the bank. I got no problem speaking my truth. I love you guys. I'll leave it there. But, you know, I just want to give you food for thought. Because, you know, it's funny when I put it all out there that we're all 
part of the human race. How many people look to be offended by me saying that? That we don't have the same God. We don't have the same Father. We aren't all part of the human race. You know, our diversity, our uniqueness, our individuality are all something to embrace. But he doesn't love any of us any less despite your sins.